Colossians 1 and 26. Who are we? We are Israel united in Christ. We are here to uplift and liberate the decayed state of the so-called black and Hispanic race. For right. years and centuries, we've been lied to about our true identity, our true language, and our true origin. We here to bridge the gap in between what? The so-called Hispanic history and the Bible. Right. We're going to show Hispanics who you are in these scriptures. Read it. The book of Colossians, chapter 1, verse 26. Even the mystery which has been hid from ages. I said the mystery which has been hid for ages. For ages, guess what? Another people have been proclaiming themselves to be the so-called Hispanic and blacks. But the problem is, you don't know who you are. You don't know how rich and how deep your history runs. Black and Hispanic history is found in the Holy Bible. It's located nowhere else. But guess what? It's been a teach this, and you're not going to learn this on social media. Come on. And from generations, but now is made manifest to his saints. Now the truth, the mystery is being cleared up by the saints of God. Give me, uh, give me uh, Deuteronomy 28. Give me Deuteronomy 28. Matter of fact, give me Isaiah 40 and 9. Isaiah chapter 40 and verse 9. When you look at the estate of the so-called Hispanic man and woman, what's happening right now? Y'all being colonized, y'all being forced out your land, and guess what? As we speak. Why is the why does this happen to the so-called Spanish? Where where's your hope? Where's your liberation? It's found in the Holy Bible. That's right. But y'all have nothing to hope for if you don't know where you come from and who you're supposed to be serving. Read this. The book of Isaiah, chapter 40, verse 9. Bring it up. Oh Zion, that bringeth good tidings. We are bringing the good news, the gospel, that salvation is for the black and Hispanic race. Right. But for so long, y'all been proud upon. Your true history, your language, your culture has been stripped to you. It's been stripped from you. And guess what? Now another people is in your land fighting over stolen property that belongs to you. But y'all don't know who you are. The word Hispanic means property of Spain. You, it's no way you can be property of Spain. The Spaniards colonized you, took your land, and taught you Spanish. Right. Y'all are not Spanish. Y'all part of the 12 tribes of Israel. Right. Y'all from the tribe of Issachar, Naphtali, Zebulon. The Bible is Hispanic history, and we can prove everything we're saying. Come on. Get thee up into the high mountain. We're going to go to the high, to the cheap place of concourse. Wherever we know our brothers and sisters going to be at, we're going to go there and we're going to teach this word with authority. Come on. Oh, Jerusalem, that bringeth good tidings. Lift up thy voice. That's why we got this speaker. God said, lift up your voice and get yourself to O Zion. Who is Zion? The 12 tribes of Israel. Who are you so-called Hispanics and blacks? Come on. Lift up thy voice with strength. Lift it up. Be not afraid. Say unto the cities of Judah, Behold, your God. Say unto the cities of Judah. How y'all doing, sisters? Real quick, real quick, real quick. Y'all believe in the Bible? Real quick. One question. Do you, do you know what God calls you in the scriptures? Huh? Come deal with me, sis. This is the mystery that's been hidden for ages. You are not Hispanic. You are not born. None of that. You part of the 12 tribes of Israel. Come on. Uh, what, what verse? She read uh, Behold, the Lord God will come with strong hand, and his arm shall rule for him. Behold, his reward. Read the bottom of nine again. Lift up thy voice. Be not afraid. Say unto the cities of Judah, Behold your God. We're saying to the cities, Behold your God. God is the God of one race of people. Who is that people? You so called Hispanics. You so called Hispanics. This is your history we're reading. Come on, come on, come on. Read it again. Oh, Zion, that bringeth good tidings. Get thee up into the high mountain. Oh, Jerusalem, that bringeth good tidings. Lift up thy voice with strength. Lift it up. Be not afraid. Say unto the cities of Judah, Behold your God. We try to connect you, reconnect you to the one true God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Right. You go to church every Sunday, and you learn what? A Christian or a Catholic doctrine that's been passed down to you by your oppressors. Right. Why are we being proud upon now in 2021? Why are the Hispanics being held in cages? Why are they having five-year-old kids testify on the stands? Why is all this happening? Because you don't know your true God, and you don't know your true history. We out here to clear up the confusion. Big bro. Pan my hair. Big English? Let me do Army 28. Let me give me Lamentations 5. Let me Lamentations 5 or 1. We're going to reconnect the so called Hispanics to the Holy Bible. Right. Your pastors have been lying to you. They have withheld the truth because they're getting funded by the same ones that colonized you. Right. Come on. The Book of Lamentations, 
chapter 5, verse 1. Bring it Remember, O oh Lord, what has come upon us. Consider and behold our reproach. This, is, this should be the prayer of every so-called Hispanic out there. Remember God what's happening to us. How we catching hell and throughout all Central and South America, even in America. How they building walls to keep you out of a land that belongs to you. Right. Remember, oh Lord, what's come upon us. They snatching our kids from us. Holding them in detention centers, in de detention centers, in cages like animals. Remember what's, what's come upon us. Hey, how y'all doing? How y'all doing? Now, what we teaching right now, we reconnecting the so-called Hispanics to the Holy Bible. Y'all believe in the Bible? I want praise. Oh, now, let me ask you a question, right? What's your nationality? Black Mexican. Black Mexican, what you say, big bro? Mexicano. Mexicano. What's your father? Uh, black. Your father's black? Mexican. Mexican, right? Now, I want to show you something, right? Before y'all came up here, we said, the, the, the scripture said, the mystery that's been hidden for ages is now being manifest by the saints of God. What's the mystery? That the so-called blacks and the so-called what? Mexicans or anything other than the 12 tribes of Israel. That's been a mystery. Because for so long, we call ourselves American blacks. Right. We call ourselves Mexicans, right. not knowing that our history runs far, far beyond that and it's far, far greater than that. That's right. You so-called uh, Aztec, right? You, you connect with that history, right? Sangre de Indio. Right, right. Now, the word Aztec comes from what? It comes from what, though? It comes from Issachar. That's right. That's, That's right. what it means. You were calling yourselves after Hebrew names. Why is that? Why, why, why would you call yourself after Hebrew names? Because you're the children of Israel. That's right. And we can prove it. I'm going to read it to you. Come on. Let me do Romans 28 and 32. Hold on, real quick, real quick. I want y'all to see this. I want y'all to see this. Because right now, what's the current current state of the so-called Hispanic race? What's happening to them? Is, are y'all prospering or are y'all catching hell? Which one is it? Huh? Which one is it? Hell, hell right? It depends. In, in, in what way? What you say? In what way y'all catching hell? Just give me a, just, just throw a scenario out. What's going on over there, though? What's going on over there? I'm asking you. It ain't too much. To, hey, hey, guess what? The Bible got the answer. The Bible gonna show you what's happening right now in, in the land of Mexico. In America right now as well. Read it. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 32. Bring it up. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. Right now, are the so-called Mexicans children being given to another race? Is that happening? That's fucked up the border. At the border, right? They got them in cages like animals. Right. But the Bible said what? Read it again. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. I said your sons and daughters are going to be given unto another people. Whose history is this aligning with so far? Just off that one scripture. Right now in real time, your brothers and sisters are being snatched away from their fathers and mothers. That's right. That's a fact. And we reading out the Bible. That's why I said we trying to reconnect you to the 12 tribes of Israel. That's right. Because guess what? Being Hispanic has no value. Right. Hispanic means I'm property of Spain. Right. None of y'all look like property to me. That's My right. My came from Spain. Huh? My bloodline came from Spain. The bloodline came from Spain? Yeah. If, if the Bible said if your spirit bear witness with these scriptures, you an Israelite, brother. Right. You an Israelite. If you, if you can relate to your brothers and sisters being snatched away from their fathers, you an Israelite. That's right. And we reading it out the Bible. Come on. Oh, oh. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people, and thine eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long. What are you going to do is sit and cry about your kids? It's nothing you're going to be able to do to get them back. I saw a news, I saw, I saw a news station broadcasting a five-year-old so-called Hispanic child on the stand testifying. What's a five-year-old going to testify about? Nothing. God said you're going to just sit and cry. There's nothing you're going to be able to do to get your children back. Come on. And there shall be no might in thine hand. No economic might, no political might, no military might to get our children back. Give me 49. Listen to this. Hispanic history being read off the Holy Bible. You will not hear this. You ain't going to pay for this. You're going to see this right here in the streets of San Antonio. Come on. Verse 49. The Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far. The Bible says the Lord is going to bring a nation against you from far. The so-called Mexicans, right? They occupied all the west coast of America, right? That's that fact, though. That's fact, right? Y'all occupied all Texas. This was your land first. Right. God said, I'm going to bring a nation against you from afar, from the other end of the earth. Come on. From the end of the earth, as swift as an evil flight. How are these a, a clear clue? What's America's symbol? What's America's symbol? My sister, what's America's symbol? What's America's symbol, huh? 
the bald eagle, right? You see that everywhere, right? Hey, nah, hey, America's symbol is the eagle. It's all, it's all, hey, sis, stay with me, stay with me, right? America's symbol is the eagle, right? Big bro, you with me? You gotta go, hold on, listen to this one more, give me one more. Give me one more, give me one more, come on, finish this out. And Swift is the eagle play. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.